We're excited that we just got our Xbox Series S. Can't wait to see how it looks like. Let's open it. Okay, so here we have the Xbox console wireless controller. We got two cables, power cable, and high speed HDMI to HDMI cable. All the items inside the box are well packed. Let's look at the console first. It's quite weightless. I can handle it with one hand. Power button is here. When we turn to the side, it has several ports. It includes Ethernet, two USB-A, one HDMI 2.1 port, one storage expansion, and a power adapter port. And we assume everyone is very familiar with the controller, so we're not going to describe it. Simply put the batteries in. It came included in the box. Now, if you want to record your game footage, we're going to show you how to set up Xbox Series S with Pengo HDMI to USB 3.0 4K grabber. First, you need to connect the power. Then, plug in the HDMI cable to the console. Now, turn on the power. Plug the other end of the HDMI cable to Pingo HDMI to USB 3.0 4K grabber. If you are using an older MacBook, use this adapter provided in the package to plug in. If the computer failed to detect, try the other side. There's a fixed direction from USB-C to USB-A. Otherwise, connect the grabber directly to your MacBook to USB-C. Now you can open the app which you want to go live or record with. If you don't know how to set up your MacBook or apps, check out our other tutorial videos. Link are in the description below. Simple. Plug and play. Enjoy your Xbox Series S with Pengo HDMI to USB 3.0 4K grabber. Remember, even though it's plug and play, you still need to set up and tell the computer how everything is connected and which app turns on the hardware. Make sense? Subscribe if you like our videos. We will upload tutorial, new product releases, FAQs, as well as some troubleshooting videos from time to time. Thank you for supporting us. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email us.